Welcome back to a brand new season of Guide to Brides, the wedding podcast. We have got so many fantastic topics lined up for you this season, including um, a bit of information about my wedding, a little bit of insight there. Um, but also uh, we'll be talking about prenups and we've got lots and lots of other topics, including uh, decor and wedding dresses. And speaking of wedding dresses, that is the first topic of this season. And I am absolutely delighted to be joined by Peter and Jenny from wed to be uh, Many of you might know wed to be uh, you probably passed them because there's quite a few of those stores <laughs> around. Um, and you might have seen them online with their fantastic reels and TikToks um, and all sorts of dresses inspiration. Um, so I'm not going to do too much of the talking because I, I really want to hear from you guys all about being a budget savvy bride when shopping for your wedding dress and I think we're going to have a really interesting conversation today but before we get started do you guys want to introduce yourselves? Yeah certainly. Um, so I'm, I'm Jenny, um, I'm one of the um, founders of Red2B. Um, I, myself and my husband Todd, um, we founded the business over 15 years ago now wow. so we've been around for a long time it feels like a lifetime um peter joined us very early on i'll let you introduce yourself yeah it's been many years now um, <laughs> yeah i'm peter i'm um one of the directors of the company and I, it's been a whirlwind it's been whirlwind. <laughs> it's been many years but it feels like it's happened in in no time it's been a fabulous journey and um yeah, really excited to see what the future is. Always the most fun things go by in a flash, don't they? Absolutely. So, <laughs> it's good to know that you've had such a great time. Absolutely. So Jenny, tell us about where to be and where it came from, what the concept came from. Yes, yeah, certainly. So um, we started where to be myself and Todd, because we um, had worked uh, in wholesale businesses and well, within the bridal industry, um, and we could see that there was an opportunity um for us to be able to bring our product um our beautiful wedding dresses directly to brides using a slightly different business model to the traditional um boutique mm -hmm. wholesale design process so we actually um scratched our heads for a long time to think how, how on earth can we do this how can we bring our, our product directly to brides um at a really great price but, but in no way compromising on quality mm. And we settled on um, an off-the-peg model. Mm -hmm. So we set up our first store, um, which it feels like a lifetime ago. <laughs> um, and um, we opened the doors and we put some money towards some, some marketing. And we were really, really busy. Oh, good. So we well, thought, wow, I mean, okay. we look away you are now. <laughs> hardly a surprise. I'm like, wow, that's so great. And like, actually, no, we, we're dealing with like 40 stores in the Absolutely. UK here, aren't we? Yeah, well, and, and that, that's that's how we grew. So we um, we, we literally started off with this one store that was doing so well. Um, we, we, we've always been determined to keep our prices as competitive as possible. Um, but as I say, never, ever compromising on the quality. We're so lucky with our experience to work with um, some brilliant designers um, and some, you know, world-class manufacturing. Um, we've we will never compromise on quality of the product um but just because we kind of approached the the route to getting the dresses to the bride slightly differently mm. with the off the off the peg model we um yeah we found that the, the sort of success in the, the first store then it was store two then it was store three and then all of a sudden we were at 40 in the UK and, and 59 in total across Europe as well. So Amazing. it's just yeah. been a crazy journey. Oh, <laughs> and there I was knocking the door saying, can I come along? <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a phenomenal story, the growth initially. Um, but it was the the offer. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm a retailer. I've, mm -hmm. I've had a varied career. And um, I mentioned earlier to you that all of a sudden my friends were saying, you're selling wedding dresses. <laughs> and it was... Yes, I am. But at the same time, what what we're doing is it's the offer to the customer. Yes. Mm. Um, I've worked with some great retail businesses, and the success of any retail business is the offer. Mm. It's what is it offering the customer? Because the customer will sell you, mm. um, and that's the fortunate position that we've been into. As you mentioned, we've got to forty stores, and that was primarily where I came on board to mm. bring that retail planning and scope for um, growing our portfolio of stores in the right places at the right time, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But it was only because our customer loves the product, mm -hmm. loves the offer, and, um, and talks about it. 
<laughs> and that's so the thing, isn't it? Like, I find working in the wedding industry and, and being able to speak to, to brides and grooms like on our podcast, for example, that it's everyone gets so passionate about it. It becomes your life when you're planning your wedding. Absolutely. And I'm sure you both agree that when you're working in the industry, it is your life. Oh. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So you've got to have the passion for it, don't you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you really do. And I think we're so lucky. We've got some, some store teams that hear so many different stories and mm. uh, and those stories do get filtered through to us as well. We, I might not be on the on the, the shop floor every single day, but um, those stories come to us and we hear some incredible tales mm. and some really emotional and some hilarious and mm-hmm. just some, some, some lovely stories. But you do have to always have that passion and, and always have the, to remember that at the end of the day, it's the bride's most important day of her life. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can never take away from that. You, you know, that's, it was so lucky, so lucky to be involved in that. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. And that it's it's such an exciting time for, for the listeners as well. Oh, so yes, I'm yes. really hoping that this conversation will help you to think about um, how you can think about your wedding fashion, but without breaking the bank sure. as such. <laughs> yes. um, and so mm. before we get into my questions, I think it's really important to know that when we're talking about being budget savvy, um, we're not talking about doing things on the cheap Absolutely here, are we? Not, no. no. Um, and I think it means avoiding spending beyond your means, being smart with your budget. Um, I mean, I certainly didn't have a small wedding, um, but I was very cautious about yes. overspending. Um, and I think, you know, it's thinking about value for money, isn't it? I mean, where, where does Wed to Be sit with that? Well, I think as, as a starting point, you know, I, I strongly believe that um you your, your wedding day is, is such a, a such a special day it's so important it's it's a real life moment mm-hmm. um but the worst thing to do is to start your lovely married life in a huge debt mm. um because actually from that point you might want to start thinking about house or family or other things yeah. so you know you need to really consider what is what's realistic mm-hmm. Um, for for us, as I said previously, we you you never want to compromise on quality um, for the sake of price. So mm-hmm. we always made sure that um, obviously we're, we're doing things slightly differently to a, 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 another boutique. You can still have that incredible wedding dress mm-hmm. and and have it within your budget. The important thing is to plan and to to really to stick to your plan. Um, I think that's absolutely key to do your research so wherever you go to buy your wedding dress know what their um, price range is Mm -hmm. know what your budget is where what proportion of the dresses in the store that you're going to do you think you can try on what what fall into your budget do look look on social media Mm. are the prices advertised out on social media exactly Look, look everywhere do as much research as you possibly can so you know when you're walking into that store you're actually feeling really confident that, you know, mm-hmm. I, I know what I'm doing here and I know I'm not going to, to blow my budget and I'm going mm-hmm. to stick to my plan. Um, and also think about not just your wedding dress, but your whole wedding day look. Mm-hmm. Um, you're obviously going to be thinking about jewellery. You'll be thinking about underskirts. You'll be thinking about accessories like belts, veils, tiara, mm-hmm. whatever. So thinking about all of those things as part of your whole wedding day look as well. And I think that's a really nice point is actually doing the research. So, so a lot of bride boutiques out there will put like price range starts from X. Yes. And if you are, say, spending a maximum of £2,000 on your whole wedding day look yes. and the prices start from 1800 yeah. yes. then that doesn't give you much wriggle room uh, in terms of what you can try on, does it? No, no absolutely. Um, it definitely knowing where... Um, where your budget sits is so important for us. We're we're quite lucky because our our price ranges are five nine nine to eight nine nine, um, with the majority of our dresses being five nine to six nine nine. So you know that you're never going to stray too far off your budget if mm-hmm. if your budget for your dress is six nine nine, and actually you fall in love with an eight nine nine dress. Mm-hmm. You okay? You're you're over budget, and that's you perhaps have to think about where you're going to save that money somewhere else but you're not blowing your budget mm-hmm. you're, you're you sneaked over it a little bit um so definitely knowing what 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 other items you, you're going to want to buy on the for your whole wedding out, outlook uh, uh, your whole wedding day look mm-hmm. um 
and, and having all of that priced up and all of that considered is really important. But yeah, you're absolutely right. Thinking you're spending eighteen hundred pounds on your dress, but two thousand pounds on on the whole the whole look, mm. yeah, you're going to go over budget. Yeah. yeah, and I think modern day we're all business owners in our own mm. households these mm. days. Mm. You know, everything's going up, and nothing less is coming in as we yeah. all feel. Um, and I think we, business owners, in if you're planning a wedding, you are a MD. Yeah. You are the CFO. You are the, <laughs> you know, you're the wedding Chief planner. Buyer. Yeah. <laughs> Ab- <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> you know, your events coordinator, logistics, the whole lot. Yeah. You, and I don't think people fully understand how good they are. Uh, and there's a lot that goes in. Um, Jenny mentioned planning. Planning is the, the, the most important thing for all of us. Mm. It's understanding what we want. And I think wants and needs are a big thing. In all retail, wants and needs always, will always exist. Um, there is a want mm-hmm. and there is um, for this day to be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. There is a want to look fabulous. Yeah. There is a need to to stay within budget. There's a need to make sure that we're not, that this day is going to be stressful. Mm-hmm. Accept that. That this day is not going to be something that is later regrettable or mm-hmm. over, you know, uh, has overstretched us or is not looked back with only is only look back with with uh, fond memories. Okay, I think that's a really nice point to lead us into the sort of Q&A portion of our discussion because when we were talking about what we could potentially cover in this episode with you and how it was, you know, going to be about being budget savvy, you know, I think a lot of people know what they want for their wedding and maybe the hardest part is putting the financial point to it. So yeah. it's having a think about what kind of questions to ask and I thought, you know what, you guys are the experts in terms of the wedding fashion side of things. So let me ask you the key questions about being budget savvy with wedding fashion. And um, we'll go from there. So why do you think it's so important to be open with your bridal boutique or your store assistants um, about about your budget and, and those other important factors that you mentioned, sort of the accessories that are really important to you? Um, why, why is that so important, to be honest about it? Um, I think where you are, if if you're going to buy a wedding dress somewhere where you, you could potentially blow your budget because they have such a wide range of price available, dresses at prices available, um, you could easily sneak towards a dress where you know you're, you're you're going to push your budget Mm. too hard. And I think being really honest about what your absolute maximum point is 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 so important mm-hmm. because you're gonna have to save that money somewhere else yeah. um and when you go to i don't know maybe look at your flowers or your your vehicle for getting they when you're looking at those things you're not gonna want to compromise on those either no. so you, you sticking to the budget is, is so key mm-hmm. um i think in i think for us and actually the same across the whole of bridal mm. the 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 best will ask questions. They yeah. will, and the most important thing mm. that any of our bridal sales consultants are, are told, told, uh, we talk about is listen, mm-hmm. um, because there are there are nuances, there mm. are individuality, there is lots of things that can come out of listening to what actually a bride does want. Mm-hmm. Their needs will be met if we do that, and it's so it's. I think managing expectations. Mm-hmm. Um, so when when a bride arrives to you, talk to her about where she is in her journey. Mm-hmm. Why is she here? Mm-hmm. You know, yes, she's buying a wedding dress, but is she here because she's getting married next week, or is she here because she just wants to try on every single style you've, you've got because mm-hmm. she doesn't know? Um, all of those setting out, listening, and then re, you know talking back to them and saying, okay, this is what we're going to do today, and then actually doing that. Mm. That's I think it's the most important thing. They they feel like they've been listened to, they, they're understood, um, and they leave with their expectations met. Which that, is- that's really great. Like it, It's so important that the customer is listened to, and especially when it's such, a, it's such an important moment, such as buying your wedding dress, like being feeling like you're being heard and being, feeling yeah. like you're being um, listened to is, is, is so core to that. And it's lovely to hear that Wed to Be's team is actually trained to make sure that that is the case. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And I guess 
you know, your store consultants are your experts, aren't they? In terms of, you know, actually, I, I think that this dress will look great on you. What's your budget? Let's have a look at this one because that one suits that or that fits within it. They're the experts, aren't they? They really are. Um, <laughs> they see they see brides day in, day out, mm -hmm. um, and they hear every story under the sun. Um, so they the trained or coached developed i guess yeah. to to ask lots and lots of questions and yeah. to you know to, to really understand what the bride's looking for mm -hmm. to and not just the bride but engage with the whole entourage mm -hmm. so they get a really good feel about what that bride is really wants the whole look of her wedding day mm -hmm. so we'll talk about the venue we'll talk about um, their first dance who's mm -hmm. walking them down the aisle so that when that bride finds that that dress we can do some checking with her and say have we really found this dress because when you talk about walking down the aisle with your dad or your brother is this really what you imagined yourself mm -hmm. being in uh, more often than not it's it's a yes because mm -hmm. she's fallen in love with that dress so you know we, we've done our we've done our job um if it's not obviously we revisit go okay why not let's let's go back mm -hmm. let's, and it's it's asking lots and lots of questions checking in uh, asking the bride's ideas, her thoughts, her her feelings. Mm -hmm. her, you know what 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 was it you were really dreaming of when you walked through the door? Um, so doing that day in day out mm -hmm. um, gives you gives you the techniques of being able to pick up on the little clues, the little mm -hmm. nuances, um, and and they really are experts in what they're doing. They. Mm. They know every fabric, they know every embellishment, they know <laughs> every shape. Um, so being able to say, oh, you know, if I, I want to look really, I want a simple look, but I want to be really elegant. We're just mm. thinking, okay, what have we got that's simple and elegant? She's probably thinking something a bit a bit plainer. If she's thinking she's using the word simple to me, she probably doesn't want loads of sequins all over it. So, mm. so and, but just asking lots and lots and lots of questions. Yeah, perfect. And I think that's... I think that's why it's it's so nice to hear what the experience would be for someone walking into a wet to be store because actually if that is the case um then they know to prepare to be ready to be open to and, and talk Absolutely. about these things and i think uh look we're we're fortunate that we have a very strong and a quite a large volume of good reviews mm -hmm. we all retail <laughs> talks about five stars reviews mm -hmm. of, well everyone podcast as well yeah. <laughs> you'll be asking you're asking the listeners later yes please leave us a review yeah. <laughs> and, and it's important because we're all doing our research these days yeah. we're all looking at why and you know over 31,000 come up to 32,000 4.92 at the moment mm. uh, our reviews it's, it's a phenomenal story how can uh, a bride communicate their budget constraints with a team member because obviously we're talking about budget here and it's it's a quite a personal topic it's yeah. quite a um a tricky topic for some people perhaps you want to keep that private from the rest of the entourage that's come in with you what are your tips for that um so first of all is as i said before do your research mm -hmm. so you know where you're going so you know what their price range is so you know whether you are communicating your budget as a bride is is a priority um or whether you know Maybe you're in the very fortunate position that you could probably afford any any dress in the store. Mm. Um, I'd like to think that our, the dresses in our stores are all pretty affordable, um, but it, you know other places, you know, knowing what your top and bottom um, end end is, um, we would, if for example, if a bride would come to our our store, we would um, all of our prices are on every single dress. Mm -hmm. um, so we allow brides can, obviously can look at the dresses mm -hmm. they'll see all the, the labeling they'll see all the prices when it comes to conversations about budget you're absolutely right but it can mm -hmm. be um it's a very personal thing mm -hmm. so um we'll have a discreet conversation um if we can get the impression that that's something that's really important to the bride and we'll say how much are you looking to spend today mm -hmm. rather than saying what's your budget because mm -hmm. the, the word budgets you know you don't want to ever feel like you're a budget bride mm -hmm. um because you know, it just so happens that you have a, an amount that you want to spend on that particular item for your wedding. Mm -hmm. um, and that goes back to the budget savvy thing, doesn't absolutely. it? It doesn't mean you're buying a cheap thing. No. It means that you are yeah. just being conscious of how yeah. much you're spending and, and yeah. finding the thing that's the right value for yes. you. Absolutely. Yeah. Value for money is key. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we'll um, we'll discuss the price of every dress as we 
dressing a bride to say, well, this is a, you know, um, a an Anthrano dress, it's 609. Um, we'll do more of that sort of towards um, uh, building the rapport with mm -hmm. the customer so that we, are we getting the sense from the customer, is that okay? Mm -hmm. um, if they seem quite comfortable with that, then we know that, you know, we're, we're hitting the mark. So it's about being delicate and discreet mm -hmm. with it, but equally being quite open with where our price point is mm -hmm. and you know not not being frightened that our brides know exactly what the price of every single dress is so yeah, yeah. and that was, that was a both a, a long discussion and a conscious decision mm -hmm. that we because of our business model mm -hmm. we are able to fix our costs for that dress mm -hmm. um and but we all know the world's a different you know it's an, a scary animal right now mm -hmm. commodity costs have increased logistic costs have increased yeah. material you know everything has gone up mm -hmm. and so it's i've seen it more across the the websites and images that prices aren't shouted about mm -hmm. um and i and i understand that reason mm -hmm. um we're quite fortunate that we can fix that price and it's do we do we copy do we what do we do well actually no what would what we want to do is say right this is the price this is mm -hmm. the dress so and we know we know from website hits, from clicks, and you talked about our social media earlier, and the comments that we get, we know that the research and the planning is happening. Mm -hmm. So our hope is that, as well as talking to them when they come in and the right questions, mm -hmm. um, they, they already know what they're walking into. Again, I'm going to be boring and go back to expectations, <laughs> but it's the, it's, it's the whole mantra of, when somebody comes to where to be, they get what they knew they were going to get. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that's that. Actually, the one thing they do find new is that when they actually do touch the dress, they do try it on, they say, oh, look, the quality is, yeah. is the same. Well, that, it is there. Yeah, that's actually one of my questions here is, you know, wet to be dresses to me sound very low cost. So how do you guys manage to make sure that they are such high quality? It, it's the way we bring the dress to the bride. It's, it's the business model that we've set up, our off, okay. the, our off the peg um, model, which means um, we were able to, we work with brilliant designers and we, um, we buy a certain number of dresses, we design a certain number of dresses and, and that'll be it for that, that particular dress. So it'll mm -hmm. be in a limited edition, but we will um, we will look at you know which stores though that that dress then then we'll go to. Um, it's but our off the peg model means that we don't have that the whole chain that a lot of other um, businesses do have. So we can bring the same quality. We're working with you know the most incredible uh, fabrics and techniques and 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 uh, embellishments. Uh, the the the, uh, the manufacturers that we're using are just you know the top manufacturers for bridal dresses in the whole world mm -hmm. um so we you know we're, we're really lucky um but it's just our, our business model allows us and uh, we have you know we've got stores full of dresses um just allows us to have that lower price mm -hmm. and i think that, it, that that's a really important point that the cost price of a wedding dress mm -hmm. is the same the world over mm -hmm. we we can attract slightly better cost for our Volume purchasing, mm -hmm. fifty nine stores yeah. across across Europe. You know, forty in the UK. Mm -hmm. um, we we have that luxury, mm -hmm. but the cost price is the same. It's the, the costs outside of manufacturer to physical retail. It's how we the business has been set up to make sure that is as streamlined mm -hmm. as possible. And there's a lot of hard work. Yeah, yeah. Um, we are. Yeah, we put a lot of effort. We put a lot of good people who work with us who are monitoring every cost in our business mm. um, so make sure that we can a be sustainable and be a reputable reputable business yeah. that will be around for a very long time but also that the, that price point that we've promised is, is met and kept. Mm -hmm. so. and that's really I guess the benefit of, of going with such a large retailer like yourselves or on that kind of avenue because you know as you say like you know, you've chosen you've chosen designers, and you've chosen you've worked closely with them. Yeah. But it's the way that you work with them that sort of puts the difference in there. Absolutely, isn't it? Mm. that's exactly it. So researching your options that is always it's already a, it's already a topic we've covered. But is that that's always going to be the first starting point, isn't it? Absolutely. Yes, it is always going to be the first starting point. Um, 
arguably, when you're trying to be budget savvy, that is something that you're really trying to make sure that you do quite heavily and intensely. And we talked quite a lot about that. Um, but I think from, from, my, from my point of view, when you're researching and you're in that initial stage of um, thinking about your wedding dress and what you want from a wedding dress and where to look and the styles, the price, everything like that, it can be quite difficult to know where to start. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so um, where, what would your recommendations be for, for, the, for the brides out there who are, who are trying to be more budget savvy? Where would you suggest they start their search? Well, I think the natural place that a bride will always start will be to go online and just <laughs> type into Google wedding dresses yeah. and see what comes up. Um, that can be overwhelming as well, can't it? Completely, <laughs> completely. Set yourself three weeks. Three weeks. Mm, from when okay. you start. And then, no, I, what I'm saying is when you first go on, it, you, it does rabbit. Rabbit yeah, hole. Rabbit hole. Rabbit hole. So you look at websites, look at images, look at um, Pinterest and TikTok and social mm. media in general. Just get, start getting a really good feel of um, what options are, mm. are out there. Um when it comes to actually leaving your house, going to a, a, a wedding dress store and trying dresses on, is being really open-minded. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of the, the, the story across the world that you know, a bride will come into a store and have a, a very clear idea about what it is that she wants mm -hmm. in, in some cases, often quite rare cases. Um, doesn't necessarily mean the bride's going to leave with the dress that she thought she was going to come in for. So I think even if you have a really clear idea of what, what it is that you think you want, Mm -hmm. want to, to end up looking like on your wedding day um, be really open-minded mm -hmm. um, fundamentally there are six seven wedding dress shapes mm -hmm. um, ball gown fishtail sheath a mm -hmm. line slim a line and others um, so fundamentally um, we'll, what we will do when you come come to us is we will go right let's let's nail the shape let's find mm -hmm. what it is that you you feel really comfortable in what flatters your body shape, what, what you want to look like on your wedding day. The rest, so things like neckline, do you want sleeves, do you want straps, do you want to have him sparkle, do you mm -hmm. want to have lace, that that comes through those conversations that we're having in the fitting room. Mm -hmm. So okay, we, we, we've kind of narrowed down that we love this A-line shape, what do we think about the sleeve? Do you like mm -hmm. the sleeve or do you want to try something strapless? So we'll go, mm -hmm. okay, so we know we love the A-line, let's try and find something that's strapless to go with that. So just being really open-minded to trying anything on. Mm -hmm. um, even if you have a, you do all your research, and actually, oh, you know, I really love a sheath dress. Brilliant, love it, that, that's great that you love the sheath dress and you'll probably come and try some sheath dresses on, but don't fix in your mind that that's, a, that's the only shape I'm going to try on. Mm. Be really open -minded. and we'll encourage you to be open-minded mm. when you come into store because we'll, we'll we just love playing dress up for <laughs> anything. So, um, it's, so not, it's not work then, is it? <laughs> well, it's the most common question I get asked out of work. Can we go to your stores and try and try, try on? Can, try we, have, on. can we have dress up, please? It's, it's just have some fun with it. Yeah. Um, and we'll, yeah, we'll, we want to have fun with it. Yeah. Um, so mm -hmm. I'd say, yeah, do your research. Look at Pinterest. Look at all the dress shapes. Get a really good idea of, of what trends are out there, what what you think you might like, but come really open-minded mm. um, and, and, and let us help you make that decision in store when you, when you, and when you find the one, you just know. Mm -hmm. well, you just know, saying. yeah. You do. Look, I think aspiration. Yeah. We all need it. We yeah. want, um, and what we're looking for a little bit is some inspiration as well. So mm -hmm. um, Jenny was quite right. I think every boutique in the world will tell you that there's a high percentage of people don't they, they they know the dress, they know the style, they know the, they put it on, it doesn't fit me, it doesn't suit me, it doesn't this. Mm. Um, I've got a, a story, I don't see many people getting dressed into wedding <laughs> dresses, as, as everyone would be really happy to know. <laughs> um, but one of our, what happens in all, we have training teams that go around mm -hmm. um, our stores and we're constantly working with people. And I was in uh, our Camberley store back in 2017 ish. Mm -hmm. And Pre-COVID, wow. It's like oh, a lifetime ago. whole world away. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, it was just free. <laughs> free, easy, no yeah. worries. And we had, a, we had a member of staff. She'd been with us for about 12 months and she was getting married. Mm -hmm. And um, Angela had trained, well, head of retail was in there. And she, she was trying to have some dresses on with her. And, and she came out of the changing room and uh, I knew her quite well. And mm -hmm. she, she, she showed me and she was in tears. She, mm -hmm. she absolutely. And Angela turned to her and said, 
I'm now going to find you a dress that fits you. Mm. Because she was there, she had the look. And the look she, was right. The dress she wanted, the look was right. But there were some compromises going on. Mm -hmm. And there were some bits here. And, and then she, she went and found it because Angela listened to what she wanted. And she mm -hmm. said, listen, trust me. And she mm. went away, she came back. And it wasn't the over the top tears, she just beamed. Mm. And as I mentioned before, I'm a, I'm a retailer. I like to I make, make sure that at the offer that we're offering is top. It, it's, um, well, that's your job. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. um, and in that moment, it was it just a reinforcement of that's how you do it. Yeah. That's what you do. You, the customer has all of our aspiration. Mm -hmm. It's about mixing that with some inspiration. Mm -hmm. from um, just purely listening and um, from experience. Yeah, fantastic. Um, I think, I know you'll only be able to speak to this on a, on a web to be front, but are there financing options, payment plans, or anything that brides can take advantage of if they're trying to sort of spread the cost? I mean, you know, with, again, talking about being budget savvy, we're not talking about cheap here. This is not going to necessarily be a purchase that you can do at then and there with all of the money that you've got. Um, are there payment plans and payment options that you can consider as a bride? Absolutely. We, um, we're very aware that whilst, from our perspective, as, as where to be, we, we always say we have a great value for money. Mm -hmm. um, but, but when you take a step back, you're still spending quite a lot of money yeah, on, I mean, a, on a dress. Yeah. Probably the most um, expensive item you'll ever buy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, you know, with particularly for us, with our off-the-peg model, um, you know, if, you, if you're lucky enough that you come along with a bank of mum and dad, then great, you know, mm -hmm. that, that's brilliant, lucky, lucky, mm. that, that's, that's a great situation to be in. Um, but yeah, we definitely offer some flexible options mm -hmm. as well. Um, so one of the um, possibilities that we have is um, Klarna. Mm -hmm. So we'd offer that in all of our stores for brides to give um, an opportunity to spread that payment over several months mm -hmm. um, and just take that sting mm -hmm. out of, it, <laughs> out of yeah. the, the initial payment. So um, that's that's a great option. Um, you know, the, you have to be really careful with how you're gonna pay for your whole wedding. Mm -hmm. um, and I think knowing all the options up front and again, maybe having some massive Excel sheet that you're going to use to go to plan how you're going to pay for each individual item because you know you there's a lot to fork out for a mm -hmm. wedding um but yes yeah, certainly things like Klarna um, are available to our brides so yeah there's um Look, we've had many many discussion and pre, you know pre uh, introducing Klarna to our stores it was is it the right thing to do mm -hmm. what what are, what are we where do we want to position this mm -hmm. i think there's well we're, we're we're very happy that we know where our price point sits mm -hmm. um the one of the other considerations that within our model is that it's off the peg. Mm -hmm. So you were right, so there's a lot of bright. Well, ma the majority of our brides arrive to store with their budget intact. Yeah, it's there. They know how much they're going to spend on a dress. They know they can buy their dress today. And if yeah, we talked earlier, you know, um, John mentioned twenty people buying their dresses now for twenty twenty nine. Mm -hmm. You know, it's wow. <laughs> yeah, know? yeah, that's a that's a head. People yeah. are, but I think. Timing, mm -hmm. we'll go back to planning again. When's the right time to buy my wedding dress? You know, this, with the traditional model, you, you're probably encouraged six months, uh, encouraged six, eight months. Yeah, yeah of course. And a COVID, it, it shot again yeah. and it changed. Um, mm -hmm. We've got that security of the dresses available today to take away mm -hmm. today. Um, so you can plan your time around when it's best, when yeah. best suited for you. And I think that's probably the most empowering for a bride to be is that they're controlling their finances within their own mm -hmm. budgets and um, outgoings, etc. So Yeah. And I actually like that point that you can go in and buy a dress for next week. I mean, just thinking about like, there was a point in my planning was like, hmm, do I want a second dress? <laughs> 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 what oh, you do? <laughs> Look, we've had many a story of uh, f forget without mentioning the reasons why, where people have arrived saying, we had uh, one lady arrive in a taxi mm. going to the to oh. going to the venue. Uh, that's oh a one-off. It was one a real yeah. It was a real one-off, but it was, um, her, yeah. yeah. But it was, and actually she looks stunning. But, yeah. Um, yeah, so there, there, there is that. There's the one-off. 
Please don't plan that way. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we can't cope with no, that. Yeah, please, please just think about at least a few months in advance, yeah. guys. It, that would be the best, best kind yeah. of situation. But yeah, it, it's nice to know that actually, as you say, if the worst happens and there's a real issue, there mm. is somewhere that you can go Absolutely. and you yeah, can really find is. something. Oh, absolutely. I mean, COVID was a classic example. You know, unfortunately, people lost their jobs and businesses closed mm. down and supply chain stopped. Mm. Um, and so there was, you know, there was there was real supply issues. Mm. Uh, and we were um, immediately after COVID, we were inundated with mm. a, extraordinary requests yeah. and, and requirements. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, yeah. I think it. I think it's nice because it, you can then cater to both, can't you? You can cater to the people that are taking their time and planning and maybe coming in a couple of times to find the right dress, but then you can also cater to those people that can that really need that last minute. I'm really stuck now. Quick, help me find a dress. Definitely. And I think whatever point you are in that journey, what you're arriving to is today's stock. Yeah. It's not um, this season's. It's not you know we. Um, so you're always fairly confident that mm. you are uh, what you're what, what you're getting is on trend it's new mm. it's it's and obviously available today mm. that's that's brilliant thank you um okay so i've got a couple more questions here it can be very easy to overspend on literally anything yes. for a wedding <laughs> can't it? um but if you are wanting to stick to your budget as much as physically possible what advice would you give to the couples out there? It could be about wedding dresses, it could be about anything to do with weddings, but if you really have to stick to a certain budget, do you have any advice? Plan, write it all down. Mm. Um, there are loads of great um, tools out there on the internet mm. that will kind of give you an, an idea of the things that you might want to spend money on. Mm. And think about the things that are really, really important to you. Mm. Um, and the things that you're quite happy to compromise on. Mm -hmm. um, and the things that are really important to you, make sure you put enough budget in there to give you some contingency. Mm -hmm. um, so if you, you know, if you love an Excel sheet or whatever, if you just mm -hmm. if you like to write it down on pen and paper, split everything out mm -hmm. um, and absolutely prioritise the thing that's important to you. Um, if Obviously, that's the dress. Well, obviously. <laughs> But uh, do you know what? I think um, how you look and feel on the wedding day has got to be one of the most important things because your confidence on the day is going to absolutely shine through. You, it, if you if you feel amazing and you, you know you look amazing and, you know, your hair looks great, your makeup looks great, your dress looks stunning, um, things that are maybe less important to you kind of pale away into insignificance. Um, I don't think I can even remember um, things like wedding favours that we had because mm. for me, they they, they didn't, for, for some people it'd be incredibly important, that gift that you give away to the people that come to your wedding would be incredibly important. Mm. Um, but you, need, you really need to think about what the most important thing for you is and definitely how you look and feel on the day is important. I also think personally, I, I think your photographs and getting you know good photographer because that's going to stay with you forever mm. those images of you and your your partner they're going to be there forever mm -hmm. um there'll be other elements of your wedding that you'll have full memories of and you'll you'll love but they they might not be as, not important. Be as important to you ultimately so it's, it's about in terms of the planning prioritizing those mm. things and making sure that you you put enough padding into your budget for the thing that really does mean the most to mm -hmm. you. I definitely look. The there are many, many. The wedding industry is huge. The mm -hmm. supplier list is is phenomenal, yes. and there are so many great people out there. The most important thing for me is talk honestly. Mm. If you so we talked. To, I talked earlier about aspiration. Paint the picture of what you're trying to achieve, mm -hmm. and introduce your budget. Because the best suppliers out there will achieve, absolutely. A, whether it's a compromise, but it's still going to match what you require. Mm -hmm. uh, everything's achievable. Um, yes, you, there's loads of stories of pre-loved, of homemade, mm -hmm. of, of whatever it may be. And, and that might be the way of achieving your, your uh, ultimate goal. Um, but it's talk, talk, and be heard. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, never be afraid. This is your day. This is your money. You know? yeah. And I think more than more than ever, we're in a world where people actually are more confident with that mm-hmm. because guess what? I actually want to buy food this week as well. And, <laughs> I, and I'm, I don't want that. You know, we're, talk, we're hearing about food banks and we're hearing about all of this where we are in the world. I, and I think with that, people are a lot more confident. Uh, and so they should be. Mm. Uh, I'm, a, I'm somebody who watches every single penny. Uh, yeah. which my wife loved when we were getting married. Uh, <laughs> however, we, we, we planned out what was going to happen, what we wanted, what was, what was needed, all of those. And we ended up saying, before, we, before it happened, saying, right, tick, tick, tick. Mm-hmm. Same as moving house. Mm-hmm. Make sure you tick every box. If you don't tick every box, you're going to find fault with something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's where the prioritisation point comes in. Because it, there are certain things that you don't have to tick every single box nope. for your wedding, but there are things that you will absolutely want to. Um, and so I think both of those points like, work really well together. Because as you say, when you're prioritising what's most important to you, you know which ones have to tick every single box. Mm-hmm. Whereas what you're saying there, Peter, is, is, is the ability to, to know which things actually are the most important to you and making sure that yeah. those are right but you've managed to get those and that you're spending the money on those things rather than compromising somewhere where actually you probably didn't want to. Yeah. I think also knowing that um, your your friends and your family are coming to the day to celebrate you as a couple. Mm -hmm. Um, And if there are things like a free bar, you're paying for the bar, does that, is that the thing they're going to take away from the day? That, Mm. oh, we went to their wedding, we got a free bar actually they're there to celebrate you mm-hmm. um and so plan what you're going to spend your money for your reception for your you know your evening do whatever you're, you're planning on having make sure that you know you you're not spending things that you're on to please other people mm-hmm. i guess what i'm trying to say try, try don't try and please other people with what you're spending money on please yourself mm-hmm. do spend money on the things that make you really happy mm-hmm. uh, and that, that that make your day special for you not for other people Mm. because they're there to celebrate with you anyway yeah very 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 true i mean i think from my perspective a lot of the things that we were choosing for our wedding day were things that meant meant things to us or that were sentimental Mm -hmm. to the most important people to us um and i think we we recently shared on our on our tiktok a, a meme of um some uh, a meme of someone saying don't provoke me to anger <laughs> and, it was, and it was in in someone sharing their opinion when they're not actually contributing financially to yeah. the wedding yeah, so, yeah. so it's knowing whose opinions you should be taking yes, on board definitely. as well absolutely oh jesus yeah <laughs> <laughs> and that couldn't be more true than when you're buying your wedding dress yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely. how do you manage that how how do people manage their opinions what what are your tips there Oh look, we would we would always just say to our brides, bring the people that um whose whose opinion on this particular matter you know re- really matter the most to you. Um, ultimately, you know, we'll have conversations with the bride in the fitting room, and say, you know, is this the dress that you love? Forget what people outside are saying. Mm. Is this the dress that you love? Because ultimately, it's about how you feel. Um, but when it comes to you know your entourage, you know, bring as many people as you want to, but. The more people you bring, the more opinions you've got to contend with. And we've with. definitely heard that a few times yeah. when we've had bride aware <laughs> yeah. topics on this on on the yeah. episodes that we've we've done. Uh, I would t- definitely agree, and I think that's across the board. I think less is more. Definitely. <laughs> I think I think definitely. the uh, look, wedding days are traditional. We have an image of. I think everyone can doesn't matter what background they're from. Um, they can sit back and have an image of what a wedding looks like yeah. with the church, the venue, the photographs. Whatever the it is. Yeah. Yeah. There's an image that conjures up that's very similar. What I would say is be you. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. your day. You know, there is there is a build-up of your day. Mm-hmm. Um, there are childhood dreams. There are stories, plenty of stories mm-hmm. of um, planning weddings, you know, from an early age. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I, or, I was there thinking about my wedding yeah. when I was really young. <laughs> I, I, remember, I think it's just a normal thing. Of actually. course, oh. I remember my, my wife's folder, <laughs> folder. That, began, that, be, that became three folders. You know, when we when we started planning, we started planning. <laughs> you know, it was, um, and it was, and and the focus was to make sure that that, that was realised. So, mm-hmm. and one thing that we did was, she was she, she was her. She yes. Um, she and you know the dress that she chose was 
her dress. Mm -hmm. The the flowers that she chose were our mm -hmm. flowers. That one's our. I wasn't part of it. Um, but the day was phenomenal. You know, it was it was what it it, it was brilliant. But the the wasn't. She was her. She yeah. didn't follow convention. She I, and we've talked about it, and especially now since joining this industry, we've talked about it many a times of what she was told to go and do and what she was mm -hmm. told to you know, my friend bought from here and my friend did this mm. and my friend did that and it was that's all great. <laughs> you know, yeah. Information overload. What do I want? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well yeah, exactly. Take on board those oh absolutely dropping my neck. Take on board uh, all of those opinions, but then ultimately remember that it's it's your day and yeah. it's yes. your it's your it's ultimately your decision yes. on these things. Okay. My final question for you. Can you both please share your top three tips on how to find affordable wedding dress options without compromising on style or quality? I know, it's a big question. When we talked about all of these other things. <laughs> three tips. Three tips. Or it can be combined tips. No, of course, look, I think the research. We've talked research, about it already. Research, research. <laughs> research. Yes, yeah. You know, you're, um, you haven't worn a wedding dress before. Mm. So I think... Be open minded. Jenny mentioned earlier, be open minded. So mm -hmm. within that planning and research stage, it's being open to all ideas. Mm -hmm. um, and take your time. You know, this isn't don't put yourself under any time pressure going back to planning again. Mm -hmm. um, fixate, <laughs> fixate on what it is you want. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that doesn't mean that what dress is it? Is it what's your out what's your, what's the outcome? Do you want a dress that? Do you want a dress that is Instagrammable? Mm -hmm. Is that your sole purpose? And trust me, there are weddings that will happen because of that. People will choose their wedding dress because of that focus. As, and ultimately, it's not actually a problem because if, if the photos to you are the Absolutely. most important yeah. part, then yeah. mm -hmm. fine. Oh, uh, without and actually, it's probably more popular now than ever. Mm. Um, do you want to dance all night? Do you mm. want to, you know? So fixate on what's important on, for yourself, and then. We're, 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 we are where we are today talking about budget it's mm. know your budget mm -hmm. know what importance you've put on it what the rest of the um the wedding is going to cost mm -hmm. and um and try and stick to it yeah try your best yeah try your best i think obviously seeing here as our way to be um advocate yeah um come to us <laughs> we have got incredible quality dresses at a great price just you know be open-minded and, mm -hmm. and try try any any style on um and yeah and we are used for that quite a lot and mm. i say used in the in the open term you know it's i don't know what style i am i'm not sure well go to where to be because mm, yeah. you can try everything on mm. and you can leave <laughs> Perfect. That's, no pressure. That's the, people are walking in saying, you know, that's it. There's, uh, that's what we can go and do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, is there anything else that you both would like to share with our listeners? And any other tips or advice that you have about being budget savvy when it comes to wedding fashion? I think we have um, covered the planning. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it sounds well. like it's Should all about the planning. Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. And, be, and being really honest with yourself, mm -hmm. um, knowing what what's really important to you. In That's your a great brain. point because we've not we've not actually said that. We've said be honest with other people and be open, mm -hmm. but be on, being honest with yourself Definitely. is very important Definitely. in that respect. Yes, yeah. Um, and as I said before, don't compromise on the things that are really important to you. Mm. Um, there are other compromises that you can make mm -hmm. on, on other details of your wedding. So, um, but no when you look back at those photos and when you look at your video and you look at, you know, you have your memories and you sat there on your honeymoon on that lovely beach or wherever you are, think what, what are going to be the things that you're, you're remembering? Focus on those. Mm. Lovely. Wonderful. Thank you both for joining us today. Thank you. Um, really appreciate you coming in and sharing awesome, fantastic tips. Um, of course, as always, in the show notes, we will have uh, links to where to be. We will have links to their social media um, and, of course, any articles and other relevant things that you might want to have a look at in regards to being a budget savvy bride in wedding fashion. Thank you again for joining us, guys. Thank you for having us. And we will see... And we will, uh, no, it's <laughs> got so far. Um, <laughs> uh, thank you both so much for joining us again. Um, it's been great having you Pleasure. in. Pleasure. Thank you.
Thank Thanks you for having us. us. Thank you. And we will be back again soon with our next episode of Guide to Rise the Wedding Podcast. So don't forget to hit subscribe and we will see you again soon.